Good day, YouTube. So I'm taking just a bit of a quick fun comparison or look at Linux Mint 21 on the left-hand side versus Zoran OS on the right-hand side. So you couldn't be blamed for thinking these are actually quite different operating systems. What they do have in common is quite a lot. So starting off, they are both based off uh, Ubuntu, the long-term service release. They are both using the XFCE desktop environment as well, but it does look a little bit customized on the right-hand side. I want to call Zoran OS the, the, uh, the illustrious Zoran OS because it is based on uh, four. It's, it's de well, designed for people that are moving from Windows to Linux, uh, pretty much there. Now, before I go any further and open up any real apps, let's have a look at the RAM usage on boot up. So we have about 570 megabytes of RAM on boot up used for Linux Mint 21, whereas Zorin OS, we're using a bit less, 546 megabytes of RAM on boot up, which is pretty cool because it's uh, uh, all things considered, the way that it's beautifully customized. Now, let's have a bit of a peek here at the start menus, a bit better. So, Linux Mint is using a bit more of a stock standard XFCE start menu there, whereas Zorin OS uses this beautifully refined sort of two-tone color look and feel there to, uh, to get things going. So, you can search for whatever you want with both of the search menus there. But definitely most people will say that Zorin OS's start menu looks a lot nicer in comparison. Now, in terms of the actual desktop front ends themselves, Linux Mint is obviously keeping in line with its own themes for all of its other versions or flavors. So you've got the green icon sets, you've got the, the, the icons down at the bottom with the Linux Mint icon. Uh, you've got the, the gray, dark gray taskbar there as well, where Zorin OS is certainly doing its own thing, a bit more of a light mode. I wouldn't mind looking at this as a, a dark mode here. In fact, I think that we can do that. Let's see, because I do enjoy a dark mode. And theme, let's see. Ooh, hello. That might take a second to, to load, I suppose. Yeah, okay, great. So we can actually do that. So that's really good to see. Oh, beautiful. Don't you just love it? Okay. Now, there's actually nothing on the front of the... Why would that be? Some distros a short while ago couldn't have folders on their desktop. It's just super annoying. But that's not an issue anymore. Evidently, I've just created one. Speaking of folders, let's jump into the uh, the the actual uh, file manager itself. So Zorin has this really cool sort of blue neon icon color set there, and this this beautifully set up places menu there. Now, if we actually go into it, they are both using Thuna, so they are really the same. But of course, Linux Mint sticks with its green and white theme and look and feel there. But they do the same basic thing. Right click, and away you go. Although, it's unfortunate to say, I can't open a terminal from Zorin. I love using the terminal. Having said that, it is for newcomers to, to Windows there. Now... Let's see, so what else can we look at? We can look at the back end. So this is gonna be pretty much of a muchness. So they are both based on the long-term service release of Ubuntu. Of course, we've got the 5.15 kernel for Linux Mint, the 5.13 kernel for, for Zorin OS. Now that's probably gonna change soon because of the recent updates to the uh, Ubuntu long-term service release, which is now 22.04, if you want that specific information there. But you basically get updates for five years for each of these ones here. Uh, but uh, let's have a look at the, the software manager for each of these now and see what they're even called. So software updates, just software for Zorin OS. So any easy to use, newcomer to, from Windows, distro is gonna have a nice software manager where you can go shopping, so to speak. Most of these apps are, are free though, even though it says let's go shopping. And just gotta get that to load. Take a moment, haven't opened it in a while there. Now let's start off with Linux Mint on the left hand side here. So you got your banner advertising free apps, <laughs> which is good. Editors pick, categories of apps, those sorts of things there. We are gonna see a similar, if not the same thing there for Zorin OS. As we wait for that, I do probably wanna keep things default, but I do love how I had the Zorin appearance option there. Didn't even have to really look hard for it. I was just able to find it there and we can switch uh, to dark slash light mode, see what happens there. Actually, no, I think I'd prefer, that's morning and evening, let's just go white. Uh, let's see if we're still, yeah, still waiting for the software. So we'll have a look at the Zorin appearance because Zorin is just, it's it's kind of reminiscent of maybe Windows 10, the way that it looks. It's cool, okay, we, get, we can put our icons on the front. Let's, uh, let's chuck a few of them on there. Got the layout, 
get more des desktop layouts in, in the pro version. This is actually the light version. So I think the pro version is going to cost you. But hey, we've got a couple of different versions here. So Zorin Appearance. Uh, you got more of a basic, sort of an old school look there. Uh, the very old school look, actually. No, most people prefer the grouped apps there. So let's just load that back up. Good. But we're keeping it default just for you guys. Getting flat pack meter data for Zorino, Zorinos. <laughs> okay, so take it a little bit longer than it wants. It's going to look about the same. I really want to show you guys. But it's taking its sweet time, isn't it? Uh, let's jump into... Okay, it's using a lot more RAM at the moment because it is loading up all this stuff here. Uh, it's going to have a banner. It's going to have probably editor picks and and the rest of it. But it, to be honest, it's taking a bit too long to load and that, that's quite unfortunate. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just pause the video. You guys won't notice a difference. Okay, back. <laughs> as soon as I paused it, <laughs> you'll notice the time barely changed. It was only like 10 seconds. Okay, so we've got the banner options. I like the fact that you can actually search between them all. It shows a mixture of proprietary and uh, non-proprietary apps and open source ones. Most of them are free on either side. Uh, we've got the editor's picks as uh, I said or guessed would happen. We've got recommended apps for graphics applications. That's really nice to see. We don't have that on the Linux Mint side. Categories for apps as well. Nothing to write home about there. One cool thing is you've got the, the update manager here as well on Zorin OS. So that's really nice to see. So you, you can do it all in one spot. You can see the installed apps a lot easier there as well and delete them if you want to. So yeah, definitely plain its hand. So Zorin OS is playing its hand towards newcomers to Linux from Windows. So I would very much recommend it. Even light, the light version is nice. Yeah, especially for older hardware. There is a core version that uses the GNOME or GNOME front end, but it is a bit more heavyweight. I've got other videos for that one. I won't get into that one today, but um, yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.